I'm getting worse. Serious, Boomer. What, a broken rib? No, my one-gun salute for Lucy. Shouldn't be so much distress. Do something. I could start by telling Lucy how I feel. I mean about me. I can't breathe. Sorry. Maybe a nerve block will help with discomfort. Victor! I didn't call for fear catch. Hey, yo. You rang? Boomer did. He got here panicked and beeped. I didn't panic. Your hair was uncurled. I had to call somebody, Victor. You're too distracted. And besides, Fiscus is centered. He doesn't get rattled in emergencies. Probably attention, Numa. Got a Heimlich valve? Take it easy. You'll be okay. No, no valves. I'll use the needle. Smack water, Jack. Don't pin this on me. All you've done tonight is moan about Lucy. Okay. Needle. There. Okay, slow, deep breath. Go ahead. Start a chest tube. Mm -hmm. And what's this about Lucy being a moaner? Where have you been? I was out with the guy. It's late. Don't you think you I know! Me? I'm sorry. David, will you... J.D., maybe this isn't such a good idea. David, could you drive? I can't. I don't have my license yet. Come on, let's go! J.D., give me the keys. Hey, friends, right? Say, keep your eyes open. Hey, you all right? I'm all right. Then. The whole gag is timing. Now, Haggy's in sync, Peppy's in sync. You're off. You're the only one. Maybe I ought to get someone else to do it. Hey, hey, you come back here. Come back here. I'm sorry, sport. It's OK, Dan. You say we give it another try, hmm? I don't think so. Come on. It's not for me, Dad. I just don't got it. Yeah, you do. It's in your blood. No, Dad, it's in your blood, not mine. What are you gonna do? Spend the rest of your life in this tent? And Drawing cartoons? They're not cartoons, they're paintings. It's art. Yeah, uh, art. Go to hell. with you couldn't care. I probably couldn't afford it. I think I could give you a few minutes on the house. I like that. In there. My bullet tracks. Oh, no, tomorrow's? After the art show, I'm going to take a dance. A real dance. A real club. Only well, don't dress up, okay? I mean, dress Dad. up. To... Watch your phone. I'm going. Tomorrow. Yeah. Portland. Okay. Portland. What, was some guy that you met here last night? Uh, here? I only met you a few days ago. Yeah, I know, but that's different. You know that. I've got to do the smart thing. Matt! While I was looking with you, and the 
I called home today to tell them I was okay. And? And. And nothing. I hung up. I couldn't lie. Oh, John. We're not fooling ourselves, are we? I mean, it's real. Promise me it'll be real. It will be. After tonight. We won't turn our money in. Oh, they'll kill us. Not if they can't find us. No, I, I could never get away from Big John. He watches me like a hawk. Look, I'll cause a disturbance. Okay, Big John has been so busy watching me, he's gonna forget about you. Now, all you have to do, you just go and buy some bus tickets. But to where? Anywhere, just, just away from here. You better get going. I'm going now, now. Our public's waiting for us. Now, don't worry. You just leave the rest to your Joey. Oh, Joey, I love you so. If I looked down, I knew I would never jump. So I just closed my eyes. And that's why I didn't see the canoe. All right, so what? was happening was that your desire to be an Alpha Omega was clouding your good judgment? <laughs> like, I, I just can't answer any more questions. No, well, wait a minute. What do you mean, Howard? Look, I, I know I've got a legal defense. You explained that to me and my parents. I, I'm just not getting a chance to say the things that really have to be said. Objection, Your Honor. Overruled. I, I think I understand what the young man means. Tell us what you think needs to be said. I right, take Lonnie Eaton, for example. You know, all he wants to do is just pretend the, the pledge class just showed up at the bridge. You know, all he's sorry about is that Alpha Omega got kicked off campus. But I am sorry. I am really sorry. There is not a day or night that goes by that I have not relived that Sunday afternoon. When I first walked into the courtroom, I, uh, I was scared that I was going to get sent to prison. But that doesn't matter anymore. What matters is that I tell you that it was my fault, I'm responsible, and God knows how badly I feel. I have nothing more, Your Honor. Like the day my dad told me the day he jumped. Mm-hmm. And when you did jump, no one forced you, right? Yeah, that's right. You could say that. Mm -hmm. No one forced me. So now you would f admit full responsibility for taking, uh, full responsibility for the death of Marty Huddleston, right? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. Well, if you feel that you had caused his death, then why did you insist on a trial? Why, why didn't you just plead guilty? If the charge was being responsible for his death, I would have pleaded guilty. Because I am responsible but not for voluntary manslaughter. On your opening statement, you said I had a reckless disregard for human life. Now that you know what happened on the bridge, do you really believe that? That's not my decision to make. No further questions. <coughs>